y'all let me turn this radio down let me turn off my car because it's not that high y'all like my hair this is still that super defined three strand twist out first off girl it is wednesday it feels like a friday to me let me take out my seatbelt child lord child somebody stole my wafer package you know how FedEx sends you. First of all, Wayfair is pretty good. So I get an email notification. I get text messages. Girl, I need to know where my stuff is at. Of all the stuff they had to take, it's my new coffee maker. When I tell you, I'm okay, y'all. It's Because I'm really trying not to drink coffee. But still. So I went online. I keep looking online. <laughs> and so they have advice. Well, missing a package? I'll wait two days to see if a neighbor will return it. Girl, <laughs> I guess to see if it was delivered to the wrong address. And that's what my husband said. He said, well, maybe <clears throat> one of the neighbors accidentally got it. I said, well, they need to go ahead and, and deliver my package to me. Do something, hell. So, we'll see. Um, child, woke up this morning. I switched my glasses. I'm on blue. Yeah, I have at least around the house. I have to because I have astigmatism in both eyes. I have about... Four pair of glasses but I lost my favorite pair which are the maroon red <clears throat> excuse me my maroon red Louis Vuitton or my favorite no are they Louis Vuitton or are they Versace go to Versace uh, maroon red Versace glasses that I love those um and I misplaced them look my husband kept pouring me wine last night That's all we're going to say, child. This, this is a family, family-oriented channel. And um, I woke up and was like, uh, yeah, it was one of those nights. Like, where are my glasses at? And so he's like, he's like, did you check your room? I'm like, my room. I'm like, oh, my she room. I'm glad that you finally acknowledged my room. I said, yeah, I checked, them. I checked my room. And he's like, well, look in the shower. I'm like, child, the shower? Was I in the shower? <laughs> I don't even remember being. He said, yeah, you took a shower last night. I'm like, I don't even remember that. I do not remember. But y'all, I am. I tried to be a very cautious drunk because I think I got up and took some vitamins. Girl, what the hell? <laughs> like, vitamins are going to help me. Uh, but actually, I think, it, I think it did because I don't have a hangover or anything. Because wine, a wine hangover could be the worst hangover, right? So, yeah. Lost my glasses, can't find my glasses, but I did order some glasses from Fermo, which I did. I they reached out to me almost two years ago to do an review a review for their glasses. The glasses were great. It's just that the lenses were too thick. So this time around, I got the thinnest lenses, and hoping that they'll be okay. But baby, I need to find my other glasses because those are my favorite pair. Like I said, even though the frames are old and. Well, those glasses are like 10 years old, so I need to give it up. But I keep my old glasses, y'all, for this reason. This is one of the reasons why I'm running errands today by myself because I've just about had it. I am so ready for him to get back in school. Um, He's just been out of control, y'all. It's just... And we have to keep him busy. You know, I always believe in keeping your child busy. And then when I tell you my patience is so thin, has been so thin this summer. So this summer has been a lot. It has been a lot. Um, I have a lot going on around the house. And with JV acting crazy, I really needed that this break. You know, um, I when I get frantic, it increases my anxiety. And I forget to do stuff. Like, I kid you not, at least on two or three occasions, after I go on grocery shopping, I forgot my groceries in the car and this is in the middle of the summer and the food is wasted i don't play around when it comes to chicken i accidentally left i was so upset with myself when they were fixing the house and i talked about this i accidentally left four packages of chicken in the car then i turned around and did it again like two or three weeks later left packages of chicken in the car because i'm getting stuff you know what i mean I'm, I'm getting what i can carry and then i forget to come back so that means that tells me that i'm doing too much i'm too busy so i had to pull away i canceled my gym membership i got pulled jb out of karate instead we're going to put him in swim lessons my husband and i were going back and forth with that he's like well what are you going to put him in i said first of all since i'm doing everything Meaning, you know, all the after school care, picking up before school, homework. Since it all falls on me, I will get to determine when he's going back. You know, we will speak on, you know, we together will decide what he wants to do. But I told him, I said, I, I told my husband, I need a break. I need a break. 
guys we are at the dollar tree i am here to get some stuff to create a you okay baby to create a um homeschool homeschool a what am i trying to say y'all <laughs> a homework station jb don't do that Let, let's not do that no you cannot get a toy basically a homework section um no no one turns into many look at this halloween stuff is already out it's not even august it's not even august look over here this is ridiculous i'm in the hospital y'all forgot i had my camera we done went to so many places i literally forgot i had my camera i could have been filming like literally oh my god so anyway we just got back got back from target ross chick-fil-a my husband's job i had to pick me out another Are outfit y'all we're leaving i had to pick me another out an out another outfit and because I gotta go to the bathroom. Picked out another outfit, get to the point, because what I planned what? on wearing is not going to work for my birthday because I got too much bubble gut going on. So I got this cute uh, dress slash short slash, uh, and then my battery's gone. Get it together, Vivian. I'll show y'all what it looks what like for my birthday. But who y'all? I'm gonna turn the camera on. It's nighttime here, and it's the night before the first day of school. I've been, I don't know, I'm gonna be tired tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna be tired. The only thing I'm doing tomorrow is getting my nails done. Um, let me turn the camera around. So this is what we have organized right now. So I have three file folders. Look, do not spend money on stuff if you wanna do something like this. I got these from the Goodwill today for $1.99 each. These retail between eight to $12 at Staples. I went to Staples, I went to Walmart. I'm gonna reorganize this, hold on. I don't like the way this looks, just a second. All right, so the way we're gonna do this, all new papers go here. Anything that needs to be reviewed or signed go here. Anything that we keep in for future reference goes here. Um, what do you call this, hole puncher, and then this is the homework caddy. We have markers here, pens, pencils. This is something that we can carry. So, you know, I can throw stuff in here and carry this back here. Crayons, rulers, just all different types of um, school supplies. And this is where I plan on keeping the extra school supplies, y'all. And this is his first day of first grade sign. I just did this through Word real quick and he can just hold this and I'll take a picture of it. Oh yeah, so let me show you what I bought today. Girl, I, I, I don't know what's going on. Like all of a sudden my clothes don't fit. <laughs> And so what I had originally planned on wearing was, let me see if I can find it, sexy too, real cute and sexy. And so this is what I had planned on wearing, a really cute off the shoulder um, form fit and dress. I can't remember where I got this from. I think I got it from Ross too. Um, it goes to your knees. It gives me a very wiggle type feel. Yeah, if I was at sitting at my 160, this would be okay. But since I'm, yeah, we ain't gonna talk about that. And this is what I purchased today. Hold on, baby. Hold on, sweetheart. He's sleepy, y'all. Isn't this cute? Now, this is a medium. And what this is, is up underneath their you shorts. You so me. I see you, sweetheart. Hold on. I'm going to interview you in a minute, okay? Um, these are shorts up underneath. Isn't that bad? Ain't that cute? $14. And this is off the shoulders, too. I got these from Charming Charlie. Now, these match the road. See that? Yes. That's what we'll do. We'll be wearing these. This is Indians. Cowboys. 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 Oh my god, he kicked that pizza. Oh my goodness. This way. This way, baby. Hi. I know. I'll talk to you later, honey. I'm so excited. First day. All right, sweetheart. No, baby, this is second grade. Come over here. Come over here. 
This is first grade over here. It is so hot. It is humid. Yeah, I feel like I'm back in Texas. It's really hot. Sorry, y'all. This child. A lot going on. Um, work has been... When I tell you work is crazy, it is absolutely crazy. So, I went to go pick him up. I went to go get my nails done. Go ahead, baby. Isn't this pretty? Let me shut this. Jamie's gonna... Okay, baby. Y'all, he goes to the bathroom. Ain't that cute? <coughs> um, got, got to go... Went to go pick up JB. Excuse me. Went to go pick up JB from school. Got home. Worked for an hour. Got up and I started having a short pain in my abdomen, which is ovarian cysts. I haven't felt that in a long time. I'm talking about like two years, but I know what it feels like, you know. Um, I have reoccurring ovarian cysts, which are managed by my birth control, but something's going on, y'all. So, I took, what is that? Sorry. I took a dang on Oxycontin when I told you Oxycontin. I was so sick to my stomach because I took it on an empty stomach. I took it after, I took it before I ate, which is not good. <sighs> that was three hours ago. I'm feeling a lot better because, whoo. Let me show y'all the little purse I bought from Walmart. Hold on. Um, I know y'all, me and purses. Look at this. I bought this for my birthday and I'll get back to how I'm feeling. Isn't this cute? Ain't that cute? Four dollars. Girl, I, find a, I, I will find a deal. Four dollars to go with my little birthday outfit. Yeah, y'all yeah, was not feeling good. <sighs> then spoke to my best friend who I spoke a while to her with her, excuse me, and she's gonna be trying to come up here for a girls' weekend. I'm so excited. Her husband, you know, because I my my best friend is a stay at home, home stay at home mom, excuse me. And me being a work at home mom, I can only imagine um staying at home with two kids and she has her own side gig where she bakes cake bakes cakes excuse me desserts in general but her life could be like a never-ending to-do list so i told her i said love you need to make sure that you're taking time for yourself do something for yourself Why you um, baby that's that's i was cleaning y'all cleaned the bathrooms <laughs> Go ahead and flush it. Sorry, y'all. Flush it and wash your hands, child. Look at you so handsome. Show the front. Show the, show the front, baby. We got to let that. Right now, you look like you owe taxes. We got to let those sides grow out. So, so, and that he is so cute. <laughs> today, to, today. Close the bathroom door, baby. I had ice cream, and I got four surprises. That includes this watch. Yeah, Mommy bought him a watch. Another watch. And yeah. And but what's my but but is it but what he's moving to <sighs> let me get my life together y'all I am you know what it's humid out here and me being away from Texas for so long I forgot what humidity feels like child um there we go there we go so I am back in my she shed my she room I'm leaving me the hell alone room <laughs> Let me put this back y'all. Um, although I'm not actively doing videos, I am still recording. Hence, I'm recording this, this I don't know what you want to call this, slash chit chat slash vlog. Um, I'm working with, I mentioned it earlier uh, in the vlog, that I'm working with a, another hair company, giving them some feedback on some stuff. Um, Another perfume company reached out to me to review some uh, vegan friendly hypo allergy. Yeah, you got allergies, all that, which I do have. Uh, hypersensitivity um, products for them. Working on that. Working on a collaboration with Miss Arlette Pender. Working on another collaboration with a YouTuber. So yeah, even though I'm not actively doing videos, which honestly I'm glad I took a break because I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do that while simultaneously working on these four or five projects. Not to mention that my husband's and I birthday is in a couple more days, um, and I'm also doing uh, birthday stuff for Miss Wanda. Yes. <laughs> And managing JB's channel and working yes it's a lot but it can be done 
um if you stay organized and prioritize things so with that being said i'm in my back room getting ready to uh lay out some of my goals and plan for next week so i already took the liberty to i love this planner you guys i'm working in the best year ever planner this is a happy planner and what i did is, is what's called franking plan i switched to a daily layout which was really constricting i'll show you an example this was the daily layout from another planner and I didn't like that because literally the days are these little bitty boxes whereas the other layout was this horizontal layout that gave me more room two pages as opposed to the one okay um and then I kept the monthly goals area where I was able to Look at that. Isn't this pretty? Decorated for the month of August for my birthday month. Shout out to Luke. By the time I load this up, I'll load this up the first week of September. So anyway, I'm going to be writing down my monthly goals probably tomorrow morning because right now I don't have the time. I need to wash my hair today. Um, but that's what I decorated for. So right now we're going to go into next week. What is this? Yeah, so what I'm going to do is a little bit more Franken planning. So you see how here I have these daily tasks on this side. Yeah, I probably can't see that. I don't need this page. But then I have two, three, four, five for this week. Well, I've already done this. So what I'm going to do is take some double-sided tape. Ta-da! We're going to talk a little bit about something, y'all. And take my craft scissors. And... I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done doing this. So how y'all doing, girl? Did y'all get fat over the summer? Like, <laughs> girl, y'all saw the fully rat was posting on Instagram. I know y'all were thinking, girl, well, you, how the how the hell are you talking about? Um, you gonna get summer fine, and then you post a pound cake? You 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 at Raisin Cane? before i start it's friday and i'm ready to swing way off key um it's friday drop jb off but yeah girl i gained a little pounds but i'm slowly losing it so um real quick i put tape on this side and i'm just gonna mesh these together mesh lay it on top of each other so it becomes one page because I don't need those pages. And this is what we have. Franken planet. Now I have this one page. Okay. So yeah girl. I got on the scale a couple of weeks ago. It said 170. I said the devil is a lie. So I've been really watching it this week. I'm down to 167. Excuse me y'all. I'm down to 167. And um, yeah we'll get there. We'll get there slowly but surely. So now this is what my, this is what I do. I take these out like this. This is two. So now I can plan these pages and I'm gonna take this aside. I'll do my goals like I said in the morning because right now I'm in a different headspace. Different headspace. Uh oh. I need some wonder beside. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about something. I'll talk about a couple of things. This is not gonna be um I know a lot of ow, a lot of you look at me, you know, to cheer yourself up. Hell, I look at myself to cheer myself up too. I cheer my own damn self up. Um But well, we're gonna be talking about some serious stuff, and I'm I'm late to the party on some of the discussions. But you know, boy, I tell you, this day and age of social media, everybody you can't do nothing. There's always somebody looking, somebody watching, somebody recording. So, on, another, on, a, on the flip side, too, I, I often wonder, why do we get so invested in other people's lives? Like, I don't have time, baby. I, I know some people, they like that type of stuff. But you also have to realize that you're wasting time when you get sick. Sucked, so sucked into other people's lives case in point the madness that popped off with what is her name Layla Rashawn um, Nicole Fountain Murphy and her husband like there was 
even though it lasted on a little bit, you know, that dilemma. And like I said, it's like four weeks later. But my thing is, is that, why do we get so invested in that? You know, people were doing videos about it. You know, other people got, was chiming in on it. But I will say that sparked a conversation about why men cheat. But I'm like, we, are, we already know why men cheat. It's on a case-by-case -case scenario. But men cheat because they want to cheat. And then, well, there's no reason to discuss it. They cheat because they want to cheat. There's no reason. There's no, it's not due to weight gain. It it really doesn't have to do with, let me, let me say this because I know someone. Rated, rated PG-18. I know someone who was sexing her husband. According to her, they were having sex twice a day. And he still cheated. And she's bad. Oh, well, she's bad. She's fine. Look at Haley Berry. Yeah, so y'all, men cheat because they want to cheat. There, there's no reason to discuss and get into, you know. Yeah, they gonna cheat because they want to cheat. End of discussion. It's a shame. It's sad, but... Um, now, one thing I do want to say, Lord have mercy, Vivian. One thing that I do want to say is that from what I understand, this is all I want to say about this, is that she met him while he was still married. That's the rumor that I heard that his wife, his now wife, met him while he was still married. I do not, and I guess that he was separated, but y'all, I still don't agree with that. So y'all, the way I decorate my planner is I find the theme that I wanna go for. And since it's my birthday week, it's gonna be a birthday theme. Oh yes, you know you know how us Leos do it, baby. Yeah, it, it's the birthday week. So I need to get it together. Um, yeah, did y'all hear that? That's my stomach. I'm intermittent fasting. You know, I was talking to my girlfriend, my best friend actually yesterday, and I was telling her how, <sighs> you know, the little weight I picked up. And she's like, girl, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, just start back. Don't complain about it. Just start back getting back on track. So she agreed with me that the most um, realistic way to maintain weight and just lifestyle is the intermittent fasting. So back on that. Um, we gonna, we gonna use some of these. Isn't this cute? Yeah, back on intermittent fasting, which means that I don't eat till, what time is it? It's 8.30. I got two more hours. Love! All right, it's 8.30. I got two more hours. Yeah, I know I have some birthday stickers in here. I mean, I purposely got picked them up from the Dollar Tree, and now I can't find them. You know what? Did I show y'all my nails? I think I did. I have to find my birthday stickers. Let me turn off this camera, y'all, till I find them, okay? Because I'm wasting film. I found them, y'all. I found them. So I'm going to be using <coughs> a mixture of these natural hair with the crown. These, I like these. This is like not your typical birthday stickers in these. Isn't that cute? Um, do y'all do anything for yourself for the birthday, for your birthday? Like, are you the type to buy yourself something, you know? Girl, I do. Yes, I do. I buy myself something, I make my own cake. Because cake can't nobody make my cake on yeah. Make my own cake. Yeah, I'm trying to look for this glitter. I'm sorry. It's a certain type of wash I'm looking for. Um, here we go. It's sitting right in front of your face. You don't have to say a word. Is that a song? I just made up. The, I just made up the words. Y'all know what I'm. What y'all talk? What I'm talking about? But anyway, y'all, look. The highlight of my day is gonna be watching Descendants three <laughs> on the Disney Channel. I know I'm a mess, and that baby passed away. One of the um, actors. He's young, 24 years old. He died of a seizure in his sleep. Oh, yeah, I'm getting dizzy. It is humid out here in Phoenix. I was telling some people, like, this reminds me of being back home in Texas. Um, yeah, y'all. So, this is what, all that chatting, I got sidetracked. This is what it looks like so far. So, yeah, I'm not going to be on here this entire time because I, it's almost 20 minutes now. 
Okay, you guys, let me turn off the car. I'm parked in front of um, the Dollar Tree. I'm here at the Dollar Tree to pick up some things. Let me look at my stuff, y'all. Y'all, today has been a certain morning. This morning has been interesting. Um, well, well, first of all, let me back up and say this. I am so over, I've always been over the commercialization of these holidays. Um, it used to be, especially when I was growing up, you would celebrate these holidays, families would come together, you would have certain traditions. Nowadays, I feel like every year it gets worse and worse and worse. This year, for example, my local Dollar Tree here, they already have Halloween decorations were up in July. Americans spill, spend billions of dollars during the holiday season. And then on the flip side of that, murder, murder goes up, suicide goes up around the time. So I, a part of me feels like, isn't it supposed to be the time where we're supposed to be with our family, giving back? Why are we, why are our priorities off? We're spending all this money. Um, we're out trying to outdo people. We're going to all of these ho holiday parties that we really don't want to go to. So I, I guess my point is that I had already given JB a heads up as young as four years old in a very PC way and putting it into a way that he can understand. You know, I let him know, you know, baby, this is, this is fine, but soon we ain't going to be doing it. So today, the ripe old age of six and a half, I told him, I said, JB, this is it. This is the last year where we, we, where we will be celebrating, especially Halloween. Halloween is out the door. I said, as a matter of fact, we won't be giving you a lot of toys. You will get three toys like baby Jesus. <laughs> no, seriously. Like he will not be getting a lot of toys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, me, 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 everyone. Let me open up the blinds. It is Saturday. I'm in my she room looking at, I got my stuff laid. Actually, this is a good thing about having your own space. I got my birthday outfit laid out. Um, my birthday is not officially till tomorrow, the 11th, but who wants to do stuff? That's, who wants to do stuff on a Sunday? You know what I mean? So we're going to do stuff today, Saturday. So I'm back here because I'm trying to, y'all, my makeup is a little ridiculous. Um, I don't know if this is normal. <sighs> it's not normal. Yeah, this beautiful palette. Look at this. Really, really pretty. I'm going to be going in between this palette and the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, y'all, I know. I know, y'all. I'm going to be going between that and the Jaclyn Hill palette. Since I'm wearing yellow, I want to dip into this yellow here. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you real quick my cake I'm making for us, the birthday cake. Now this cake, um, if you don't cook, this is gonna be a difficult recipe. Um, and I'm really not gonna go into everything because I wanna hurry up and get this in the oven and get it started. So let me show you what the ingredients are. We have coconut milk, coconut flakes, two boxes of white coconut, excuse me, white, white cake mix as you can see they're different brands it really does not matter at the end of the day um yeah so we have vanilla rum oh yes rum a bunch of kiwis we have coconut cream pudding we have sugar we have some good old butter eggs and oil so what i'm going to do is create a coconut rum kiwi cake so the cake itself is going to be white cake once it's done cooking, I'm going to be pouring over a rum, punch holes in it. Once it's kind of cooled down, I'm going to be making a rum coconut milk syrup. Instead of adding water to the cake mix, let me back up. Instead of adding water to the cake mix, the liquid's going to be coconut milk and lime juice. Excuse me, key lime juice, okay? Bump up the flavor. Also add some vanilla. I'm not going to add rum to the cake itself because JB's going to be having some. For the syrup, I'm going to use coconut milk put in sugar and then rum and vanilla, okay? All right, you guys, my cakes are done. Um, this again is one and a half boxes. You just follow the instructions on how long to bake them for. Look, I've been cooking long enough to what I can tell by, this is kind of weird. <laughs> I can tell from the smell, when I even check in it, that the cake is done. Just by smelling it, um baking i can tell when it's done and this is definitely done another way is you can see it's 
you can see really closely it's separating away from the pan okay All right now I'm getting ready to make the buttercream the key to a really good buttercream is to mix it for a long time because the longer you mix it air basically folds into the um, the butter itself so when I mean mixing for a long time first of all I don't have a sand mixer I just I don't know y'all I'm country I don't know if to tell you I'm just using an old-school hand mixer girl and so this is going to mix the butter by itself for five minutes and then I add some powdered sugar let that mix for an additional two minutes or so very simple I'm gonna be using lime vanilla I may pour a little bit of a little bit of heavy cream like literally one tablespoon that just makes it fluffier this is what the coconut milk rum simple syrup looks like um, and yeah we're gonna pour that over the cakes while they're still warm but not as warm as it is right now guys the coconut key lime rum cake I did not have enough icing to ice it all around but that's okay I improvised the top just put a little key limes on top for decoration sorry y'all that is it a little bit of piping and that is it so good and it's pretty hot JB has his own excuse JB JB has his own little mini cake over there here yeah. is the outfit pickaboo the shoes I turn around so you guys can see my hair. Isn't that pretty? That's real pretty, huh? Real pretty. Hey y'all, it is officially my birthday day. I am so blessed to spend another year. It is truly a, a blessing. I'm gonna stop here in a minute and pray. Like, give all glory to the Most High because so many people didn't see today. Do you know what I mean? We, we know this, that People are dying, y'all, left and right. So I am very grateful to see another day, see another year, to make it to almost 40. I'm 39, 39 and fine. Look, I was feeling a certain type of way about turning 39. Um, I hadn't felt this way in a while since I turned. Actually, when I turned, I don't know what it is. When I turned 29, I was feeling a certain type of way. I'm like, oh. Ooh, but I'm okay y'all I'm okay girl I got over that real fast so we went out to eat, eat yesterday last night at our favorite restaurant trash trash our waiter was first of all he he ended up being a little good at towards the end li literally after we had a couple of drinks we didn't care um yeah it was just not good and the service was poor and we this is our spot okay the service was poor. I'm so glad that I ordered. I ordered um, chicken tortilla soup. My husband felt bad. He kept offering his food up. I was like, no, eat your food, babe. I'll, I'm just glad that I had my chicken tortilla soup and that I got some cake at home. I'm, I'm good, I'll be good. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so today I will be cooking what I wanna eat. And if y'all don't know by now, my two favorite foods in all honesty, and since I'm trying to watch and I'm not making it at home, my two favorite foods are fried chicken and um, tacos. Girl, I can eat tacos every day. So <laughs> I'm going to reset my hair. This hair, y'all, official video, I don't know, like I said, how I'm uploading this stuff. There was so much fallout. It's beautiful. I love it, it's not as vibrant as it was yesterday, which I'm okay with, but there is so much, it's literally everywhere, everywhere. Um, this is something I wouldn't do often. Like I, I mean, literally I would do this on special occasions, once or twice a year, and that is it. Whew. Anyway, girl, 39, y'all. Let me go say my prayers though. <laughs>